Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. We did a video a little while back on Hammer's new truck gun and it was in one of these Vertex bags and at that point we indicated if there was enough interest we would do a review on the bag. And there's been quite a few people that have asked about the bag. So we're going to do a review on this bag, talk about its features. Vertex makes quite a few different, what they kind of call covert concealed carry, where you can have weapons but it doesn't look all tacticool. cool It doesn't scream operator. Nothing about this bag would give you any indication that the person carrying it would be inclined to carry concealed. And of course it's for legal concealed carry. A lot of the bags you can find that are set up for that have all sorts of molly on them and everything else and they just you know kind of scream operator. The advantage to this is you can use it like a regular bag. You can carry your concealed weapon and not get hassled or be immediately targeted. So let's talk about this bag. First off, it's the Vertex Commuter Sling 2.0. And it's got a number of little compartments and features. It's 20 inches high, it's 12 and a half inches wide, and it's six inches deep, all kind of somewhat compressed. And it weighs about 3.2 pounds. Honestly, it doesn't feel like it though. When I pick it up and carry it, it doesn't feel like it's that heavy. It's got three main compartments. It has this front compartment, which is convertible, and I'm going to unzip it. You can also have just grabbed it by this, so I zip it back up. Another way to open it is to grab it by this and just pull it down. Of course, it hangs up on me. But you're supposed to be able to just grab it, and it's probably because I'm doing it at a crappy angle, sitting here with it flat on the table in front of me. And now you've got Molly. And in this molly, you can attach various holsters to it. Now this particular holster, it has this SIG P365 in it with a extended mag, which is of course unloaded. This is the XL. Uh, this particular holster came free with an NRA jacket and got what we paid for on it. It's kind of a craptacular holster. But they have what they call tactical origami or tactigami and there are various holsters and pouches and things like that that are designed to work in this molly environment so that you can actually put something in there and have it stay like this thing's got zero retention whatever you put in here to tip it just a little bit and it falls out but it just gave you an example of how pretty much it doesn't have to be specially made for this bag anything that is a good quality holster with velcro on it will work and you might think okay but i want to have stuff on here. Well you can attach anything you want, flip this back up, it expands a little bit so it's designed to kind of puff out if it needs to. Or you can say, well look, I'm going to be in the woods. I'm going to be at a range. You can unzip or un velcro this little thing, stuff this flap up in here, and now your molly is exposed and readily accessible. A couple other things I'll note, there are these little snaps and when it's zipped up, it snaps up here, up at the top. And what that does is it prevents it from opening unless you open it intentionally. It kind of defeats the hole, I'm going to rip it open real quick to get to my concealed piece, but at the same time, it also allows you when you don't have a plan to pull it open and let's say you're on a trail and you're going to have branches and stuff. The zippers can't work their way down. So it's a choice. You can either use these or not. It's up to you entirely. The convenience of this is you've got access to not only Velcro but the Molly setup as well as the ability to just store regular stuff in here if that's what's going on. There's another compartment that you can open with these zippers right here. And this is kind of the main compartment of it. It's meant to hold a 15 inch laptop. It's got zippered pouches and these little slide areas that you can put various supplies. Kind of could put a magazine, but it's a little tight for that. It's really meant for pens, pencils, things like that. You could put a weapon in here, but this is all pretty much smooth. This is really intended for a laptop or like a ballistic panel. Premier Armor makes ballistic panels that fit a lot of these backpacks, and they actually have one that fits this backpack. You stuff the ballistic panel in there. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is also able to support hydration packs, 
where you know the bladders. So it can be used with tactical capabilities. It can be your office laptop, or if you're going out into the woods or, or some excursion or hiking where you want to take water with you, that's, that's an option available with this bag. So you've got a lot of flexibility there. Now this, pan, this particular one is meant to be accessed, I would say more normally. It doesn't have quick access type setups in it. And then the, the last compartment is the actual concealed carry compartment and it has this rapid access tab which by the way this sticker comes off I mean I mentioned that this doesn't scream tactical having a rapid access tab would, <laughs> would kind of really scream that but you pull it right off and then it just looks like a kind of a little dongle it doesn't look like much but what it allows you to do is of course if you have it properly positioned is rapidly open it and of course it's hanging up on me again because, because I'm really suboptimal. I'm not sitting like I would normally be sitting trying to use this. It's up kind of chest level with me. That's not how you'd use this thing. But once you do that, you can open it up and you can have a little something that says, leave me alone. Now you'll notice I couldn't open it all the way. And that's because it has this little clip that is optional. So if I push it down a little bit and pull this clip back, take this off, then it just flops open. This, whether or not you choose to use this, is entirely up to you. If you do choose to use it, what it does is it prevents it from just flopping open if you unzip it. And it will therefore allow you to have something in here that you don't want to fall out. But if you want it to just flop open readily, quickly, you can have something like this as a stop a pop or pap pistol in here, which of course is unloaded. And you'll notice it fits quite well. Now, one of the things that they do say is that this is a rifle-ready bag. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of a stretch. I would say a pistol version of a rifle. You might be able to get an AR pistol in here if you turn it sideways. This compartment is 20 high by 11 and a half wide and 2 and a half inches deep, you know, the thickness of it. Uh, it's 20 inches on the diagonal. So an AR pistol, a short AR pistol would probably work in here. A you know, a scorpion, any of that type of thing would work in here. But a full-size rifle, of course, isn't going to fit in here. I'm not sure why they call it rifle-ready, because I, I just don't see that happening. And the exact orientation that you might put this in may vary depending on whether or not you're going to use these this rapid access tab, kind of really like it's designed, which is to be not all the way at the bottom where I had it, but kind of at the halfway point. So you would have the zippers lined up kind of like this and you'd have it kind of at around, around the corner territory, but where it doesn't have to make a 90, because then you've got an easy whip around the corner like that, and it opens up. Now in this case, I've got it the wrong way for using it that way, because the grip is down here where the zipper would be. If I flipped it the other way, it'd kind of open up enough I could reach in and pull the grip out, but the gun wouldn't fall out on me. And depending on how you set it up and what way you tend to access it, whether you're going to access it while it's on your back, whether you're manning, planning to have it in a vehicle on the floor of the car seat, that it all depends on which way you set up, which corner you put it in, which way you turn the gun, whether or not you choose to use this little strap that's here. You know, it's, it's all, it basically, it's how you want to use it. So experiment with it a little bit if you get one of these. Get it to where it suits what you're going to do with it and the way you intend to use it. Well, I've got it on this orientation, you can see it's got a well-padded back and it's got well-padded, thick-padded straps. So it's going to be comfortable to carry this. And one thing you might notice is that this one's a different color than the one in the first video, and that's a different gun than the one in the first video. It's because I liked Hammer's idea. So I went ahead and ordered one of these to put my AK pistol on. This one's not a mini Draco or a micro Draco. It's a little bit bigger. This is just basically an AK pistol. But you'll see a standard AK pistol fits. And that micro Draco, that's a cool little gun. And a lot of people were commenting that they can't find one, but they're finding these. Well, if you can find one of these, it'll fit. If you can find a micro or mini Draco, it'll fit. The nice thing about the AK is it does kind of fit kind of tight. Not that it's difficult to get out or anything, but it's not going to be sliding around as much because the gun pretty much has the corners hit. So overall, this is a perfect thing for something like this in a uh, defensive. So why would you want something like this? Well, you've got a 30 round or more mag. This is a 30 round mag. You've got the ability to store additional mags in the various pouches. This is a good type of gun to use for a truck gun, something like that, where 
you may find yourself in the woods, you may find yourself in a situation where it's obvious that violence is impending, but it's not, this isn't what you use, for example, to deal with a carjacker knock on the window. You're going to use your concealed carry piece, your pistol. You start going for something like this and try and unzip it out of a pouch, you know, things are going to go sideways. But if you find yourself trapped in a situation, for example, civil unrest, riot, where you suddenly find yourself trapped in some area where it's clear to you that it's, it's about to get ugly, you can make this accessible and have a little bit more firepower to deal with the problem if there is one. And you can even store hearing protection in here, which you would, you would have time in that scenario to use. Because again, if you're sitting at a traffic light in a you know, normal situation, you get the knock on the, on the window with the barrel of a gun, this isn't going to help you with that. It's your, your concealed carry that you're able to surreptitiously draw as you're appearing to comply. This is a little different scenario this is set up for, and that's why you're going to have bigger weapon, more capacity, more powerful round. You know, it's, it's all the different threats that you may have to deal with. One other thing I'll note on this is it's got a pass-through for carrying it on luggage. So if you've got roller bags that you want to carry it on, you can do that. And of course, you know, you're not going to take it through TSA with that little guy in there. But if you're using a bag like this for laptops and travel and stuff like that, it's a good idea. And, and I will make one note that these aren't cheap bags, but don't ever use the same bag for your daily carry with something like this that you use for TSA. Use totally separate bags. All it takes is one spent case, one empty case to cause you a whole lot of heartache. So if I were going to use one of these for daily going to the office or going places where I'm not going to take my weapon, I'd have a different bag and I'd actually make it a different color. That way you don't accidentally grab this bag when you go through TSA and put yourself in a world of hurt. Let me zip this thing back up so I can show you a few of the other features on it without my little friend there flopping out and landing on the floor. Or more likely on some part of me that doesn't feel like having an AK dropped on it. It's a sling style bag, so you can shoulder it on either shoulder. It's not a full backpack with dual straps. Everything's adjustable. All the snap clips, the width of it. This bag is basically the way it came out of the bag. I haven't actually used this yet. It has a carry handle, so you can carry it, you know, of course you can carry it like this, but you can carry it like a duffel bag or a briefcase or something like that. It's got a recovery strap or a buddy strap that you can also carry the bag with. It's got various little hooks and loops in various different places on it to hang things off it. There's another one here. There's another one here. Well, this is actually part of the part of the retention. It's got a waist strap that you can tuck away. So there's a lot of flexibility with the bag. And the interesting thing about this particular bag, the one that Hammer bought, he picked it out because it was the one in the gun store that happened to fit the gun that he had with him. He was just looking for something like now. And normally you, you research things like this and pick the best one and just kind of stumbled across it. So sometimes those random local gun store finds end up turning out to be really good. And this is an example of that. And of course you can also get it on all the popular websites, you know, Amazon and all those different sites because it is just a regular bag that doesn't have to have weapons in it. It could be very easily used for a college student, carry their laptop and a bunch of supplies. Beyond that, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up share, subscribe, click that bell up there to get notified if you do. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, kind of pretty much everywhere. Thank you.